Hey everyone and welcome to today's demo. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you Dynamics 365 and Power BI and Microsoft Flow. Um, we're going to go through a scenario where we're going to see orders coming into Dynamics 365 for sales and those orders are going to appear in real time in um, Power BI. So if you see this dashboard on the screen here, um, we're going to see live streaming data coming into Power BI from Dynamics 365. So your company, it might be um, taking orders from um, salespeople entering in the orders into, into 365, or it, you may have orders being received on a website. Um, we're going to simulate uh, many orders being entered into Dynamics 365 um, for, the, for the purpose of this demo. And we're going to see that appearing live on this dashboard here. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to use Microsoft Flow, which is the, a, a new cloud-based automation tool from Microsoft. And it allows us to connect these cloud apps together uh, without having to actually write any code. So it's extremely powerful. And uh, I'm going to show you how that is put together today. So the first thing we want to do is we're currently in powerbi.com here, and this is a dashboard um, where we're going to actually receive the data from Dynamics 365. And you can see here we've already received some data. Um, there's there's no activity currently in the system, and uh, so that's why this chart has actually stopped moving. Um, but you can see here. Uh, Earlier on, we, we were getting lots of data coming in, and we can see that represented here. So in order to set up this, uh, what we do is we go over to Streaming Data Sets over here, and this is where we actually tell Power BI um, the, the streaming information. So I have this Contoso Orders set up here. I'm going to edit this, and uh, this is where we're actually going to receive the data from Dynamics 365. And you can see here we're receiving a couple of fields here. The first one is the total amount. That's the total amount of the order. That's going to be a number. And then we have the created on date here. And once we put those two fields into Power BI, it uh, gives us this payload information here. So this is the structure of the payload that Power BI is expecting. Um, and you can see, so we have the field here, and we have some sample data that it's, that it's uh, inserted here. So we're going to use this over on our flow. Um, so I'm going to cancel this and take you over to the flows here and um, show you how this is set up. So this is Microsoft Flow, and this is how we actually set up a flow. And um, what this flow is doing here is um, we're receiving the data from Dynamics 365 here, and we're basically saying for the Contoso company, which is my Dynamics 365 organization, um, when the orders entity has a record created, we're going to do something here. And you can see if I pull down this drop down list, you see there's many different entities from um, Dynamics 365 that we can hook events onto here. So once we have this piece set up, then we're going to send this information across to Power BI. And you can see here, um, this is the destination, this is the Power BI icon, and we're adding rows to a data set. And basically, we select the Power BI information here. This is the workspace that I have set up in Power BI. This is the data set, uh, Contoso Orders, the one that I just showed you. And the table is real-time data, because we're going to be doing streaming real-time data here. And here is the payload that I showed you previously in Power BI. Um, so it's in the same structure here. And what we've done is we've taken the static values that are provided and replaced those with these dynamic values from our, des our, our um, source data here, OK? So that's how that's set up, and that's it. There's no coding required. Um, you know, there's, there's very little kind of technical knowledge required in order to set up a flow so that you can have two cloud services talking to each other. It's extremely powerful, right? So now. Um, Flow is ready to receive data from Dynamics 365 orders and insert those into our Power BI data set. Now back on the Power BI side, I have this dashboard set up and these tiles. If we edit one of these tiles here, we can see that uh, there's a clustered column chart 
and it is uh, we're using the created on date as the axis from our streaming data set and we have the total amount here um, that's the value of the order okay and similarly with this one if we edit this tile we can see that it's simply a card and we're just going to show the total amount here as it comes in so that's all the setup we need to do um, now we can run this and what I've done is I have this uh, I wrote a little app that's going to simulate um, entering in many orders at at one time so we can see that information coming in here so this is entering in sales orders into Dynamics 365 for sales okay um, and over here uh, we, we can see here that I have 22 orders currently in the system um, I'm gonna run this and refresh this and we'll see the orders coming into Dynamics 365 as well all right so let me kick off this process here and now we're getting orders created and if I refresh this list here we'll see that these orders are now being created in the system perfect now let's go back over to our streaming data set and in a second we're gonna see this kick in um, and here we go we have the live information streaming directly into Power BI now and on top of this I have my cell phone hooked up and if I click on the uh, workspace here we're gonna see this live information appear as well so there's a slight lag um, with the projection of projection of the um, cell phone app onto the screen but basically you know if you're a CEO and you're sitting on the beach and you want to see uh, live streaming data from Dynamics 365 visually all you got to do is open this app up and um, you'll be able to see that information so very powerful in summary um, you basically set up your Power BI streaming data sets and then you connect uh, to Dynamics 365 using Microsoft Flow and that's it you're done hope you enjoyed this demo thank you